Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. So I recently went out to the shops. Gonna make a uh, first 2021 peg hunt. In the end, I didn't because I went to every shop around the area and there was absolutely nothing. So we'll save that for another time. I'll do some big first peg hunt of 2020 video as soon as I'm allowed to actually go anywhere. Again, another lockdown. But, meh, who cares. But I did find it was not all, not all was lost. This Glow Wheels 5 pack. So you know how much I love my Glow Wheels. So we're going to take a look at it and then put it in the display. And also there's a little bonus because I've got some other cars down here from the uh, monthly haul which I'm going to put on the display too. So we can see how they glow up on the display. My bets is very well. So let's not waste time and just open this up. Oh. Oh, oh, that opens so well. Good old glow wheels. And also, there is the artwork on the back. I shall try and show you that. Difficult with this setup, but I'm going to keep that because I'm definitely going to put that over here. That look cool. I do like that a lot. So, I'm going to get these out and then we'll have a look. So here are all the cars. So first up, this looks pretty neat, this does. Uh, no, no name on it. Oh. Like I say, there's no name on it. I, I have one of these, a black one with orange flames, and I know this has a name. But we have an awesome, this is a cool fantasy car though, I must admit. That looks so cool can see the engine in there and all the interior which is really nice that's very cool yellow with red flames mm, not my favorite color scheme but it does look good obviously we've got the glow wheels obviously if we didn't I'd be a bit annoyed there's the back looking very mean it looks like a Corvette but with like big fins I, I do like this design I bought one of these cars as a kid, the black one with the flames on, and I started drawing cars like this, with all these, basically this sort of swooping line. I used to draw cars like that all the time. Yeah, I, I do like that one a lot. So we got, um, Dunasaur. Some sort of off-road, flat off-roader thing. Hood bulge, which is see-through can see something inside it but it's too tinted to really see okay this is interesting you got a single cockpit right or is it oh it's too dark to tell we've got a split down the middle of the cockpit there which is quite cool so i'm assuming it's got two seats it looked like it might have one which is why i thought that's funny because you'll be sitting staring straight into a post yeah it's pretty cool design blue red it's about the glow wheels, isn't it? It's about the glow wheels. I don't know. I don't know. It's too fancy. And we're going to say the same about this one, I think. Um, Aristorat. This is kind of cool. It's like a... It looks like some sort of drag. It looks like a drag car. Some sort of old drag car that's been... Uh, some sort of old car that's been converted into a drag car. I do like the uh, sun strip on the roof there. That's pretty cool. Lights on the front, nice front splitter. It's got the little thin front wheels, little thin drag race wheels. So they look, they just look a bit weird because they've got this little bit that sticks out to connect to the um, to connect to the rod. It just looks a bit strange, and obviously that's going to glow up as well. So it's going to be really obvious. Nice design, matte black. Got the stripes on there, and also yeah, these have numbers. Um, the G one to five. I don't think they're leaving. I don't think they're leaving in, in the pack in order, unless I've got them wrong. No, they can't have been. That's G five. This was definitely at the top. And okay, this is G one. Maybe I've got the order wrong, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't that wasn't at the bottom. So we got some more numbers. But yeah, that is pretty cool to be fair. Next up, this one. I do like this. This looks very very nice. Globals in the back, G3, maximum leeway. Oh, this just looks really nice. Silver, sort of reflective silver colour scheme with the 
green and purple it just looks so so cool nice wheels and it is a cool sort of stock car looking fancy car oh man the camera will not focus on it it's too damn shiny a little bit of green interior this is really nice just the color scheme alone looks really nice and this will look so cool when the wheels are glowing there's the back there I won't show this for too long because I feel like I, I fear I'm going to be blinding people with that one and last up we have the Gazella I was going to say Gazella GT but this is the Gazella Gazella GT where did I get that from so I finally got two of these I had a orange one which I wanted to put LEDs in because it's got the lensed rear lights and then that cool sort of lens on the front that I want to try and get it to light up never got around to it mainly because I was too scared to cut it open now I got another one I might be more inclined to do so metal base nice front spitter in red everything seems really bright at the minute I don't know how to turn that down got the G4 on the side no side windows which is a bit intriguing and then obviously full glass on the top got your interior which is reasonably designed yeah pretty cool so it's time to go put these on the display which i've just suddenly realized doesn't work because the power supply unit i used to run it is currently not working it's become it's kind of become more of a storage unit um, um it's just got a lot of few, that, that's what runs everything it's an old computer power supply so it supplies me 12 volt everywhere uh, i need to re redo this really so i don't have a 12 volt feed going to my leds I didn't think this through. Well, there's a terminal block here. Time to get creative. Ooh, I haven't had this on in absolutely ages. I just quickly um, found a little 12 volt adapter and put it in. I haven't had this on in ages. Let me um, get a bit more light involved. Right, I've just got a small light on so I can turn it off from here. I've had to put some cars down here to make some space. Because I'm actually running out of space on this thing. So um, let's put them on and we will uh, witness the magic. Oh yeah. And we'll put on the bonus cars from last... Monthly haul. Oh, these are glowing quite well. See, this one here would have benefited from uh, actual being lit up from directly underneath in the centre, but there we are. They're not glowing up as much as I remember. To be honest, these don't... I know I haven't had this on in a very long time, but this doesn't seem as bright as I remember it. Oh well probably got dying LED or something I mean I did connect that the wrong way around which obviously shouldn't harm the LEDs because they're LEDs they're diodes and it's this voltage they can handle but I'm not sure about the uh, little little light module programmer thingy down there right let's turn the light off we've got a bit of ambient light from my computer oh yeah that looks cool I haven't had this on so long I need to make it so it looks a bit more legit, a bit more how I see it. So that's a little bit more like how I'm seeing it. It's a little bit more, hang on, let's try and... Yeah, the, the LED tape seems to go a weird white colour. For me, that LED tape is very, very sort of UV type purple. But they glow pretty well. These ones over here are looking nice. It just looks so cool. It's like about it, that sort of weird sheen that they get. Oh, yeah. It just looks so, so cool. Nice. So, yeah, it just looks so, so cool. I, this is probably one of the better things I've done. Oh, there it goes. And having the little Christmas light controller means I can have it do this slow fade effect, which is nice, so... It, I mean, there's a video of this whole thing on my channel. I don't know if I did a build video. I can't I can't actually remember now. It was years ago I made this. But yeah, so now I can charge them up, watch them glow. Then uh, 
it will continue doing that which is very cool it's very very cool as you can see these new ones are glowing nicely the camera doesn't like to focus on them sadly um, there will be a bit of shutter flicker because of the modulation of it dimming them but there we are so so cool gotta say i do love these hot wheels cars that glow i wish they'd had a few more with like little sort of accents and stuff that light up i think that'd be really cool and maybe even if they looked into getting some different colored pigment so you can have different colors because this is just a standard sort of green glow you can get different colors that glow in the dark imagine having some like oranges or some blues and even mixing it up so you've got like two accent colours or some stripes that are in two different colours. How awesome would that be? Man, I, sh I, I don't know. It might just be me because I love these sort of glowing things. I love lights and glowing stuff. I think I said this before when I reviewed those cars. So the big light's back on. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, stupidly long five pack review. Some awesome, awesome cars. Gotta say, love the glow wheel stuff. And, um, yeah, I haven't had this on in so long. I forgot how cool this looked. So, I do hope you've enjoyed. Please drop a like if you have. Sorry this video was so long. And I hope to see you again soon.